22 degrees. This is Dan Dillon. Brought to you this hour by Cochrane Mortuary and by the Red Coach Inn, where there's always room for you. Stay tuned for our national anthem with Joe Diffie. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Who's brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? O'er oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Oh, my! KFDI! KFDI! What are all these people doing in here? Mm, where did where, where all these people come from? <laughs> Who are these people? Did you ever wonder why it is that all the cowboys live out west? Well, all it takes is just one look to know. Stetson hats and long hair flying to pick up trucks that they're all driving. Cowgirls are the only way to go. Western women fit me to a T. Any place that they wear boots and jeans is where I want to be. Riding off into the sunset, man, now that's what I call it then. I'm confessing I love Western women. Show you where, but you know that you made it there When a pretty girl says howdy all and smile Something about those western ladies turns me on and drives me crazy They're the reason that the west is wild Western women fit me to a T Any place that they wear boots and jeans is where I want to be Riding off into the sunset man, and that's what I called it then I'm confessing I love western women they can throw a rope around my heart and put their brand on me. Stick me in a pasture and I never want to leave. No. Western women fit me to a T. Any place that they wear boots and jeans is where I want to be. Riding off into the sunset, man, now that's what I call it then. I'm confessing I love Western women. Western women fit me to a T. Any place that they wear boots and jeans is where I want to be. Riding off into the sunset, man, now that's what I call it then. I'm confessing I love Western women. Yeah, I'm confessing I love Western women. That's done for you by Roger Brown here on KFDI FM and AM Stereo and a song called I Love Western Women on old T-legged, toe-legged, B-legged, bow-legged, curly-headed people at Kermike's early morning show. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, get get up. Come on, let's let's move it on out of the way. We can, we're we're gonna seat you right over here on the other side. John John Spear John Spear told me he hadn't had any control over this morning show since he's working here, but this morning he is. I notice I notice he took the nice headphones with him. Right, here's his chair. He's always got a good chair. Yeah. There you can have the. Uh, what is the we we for well, our listeners out there? I just got moved out of my. It's chair. a surprise. That's right. We've we've. This it's, is about it's, as it's a, like a military coup as, here, uh, like a military coup. We're taking over. I'm taking over the whole yeah. the whole deal. You know, oh Mike, we for uh, almost a quarter of a century, I've been the program director of everything except the morning show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Th- that th- ain't going to change either, Spear. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell you, eight o'clock news is going to be on time uh, after today. <laughs> but Mike, we we want you to uh, kind of sit back. We you you knew that that uh, I we'd have to put something together. Well, I knew there would be a little something, but I didn't know what. Well, so we want you I thought maybe everybody would be out here cheering. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> well, they are, but we're going to have a party for you anyway. <laughs> well, we want you to sit back. I want you to listen to some of these things here. Hi, Dad. It's your daughter, Melissa, calling you from Washington with your grandkids, Max and Maddie. And we want to wish you a happy retirement. I wish we could be there to listen to your last show, but it's probably going to be too sad. So we're taking bets on how, how long you're going to be able to go before you start crying. I hope you do better than I did on my goodbye speech in Wichita. I remember Daddy's hands, how they held my mom tight. Something done right There are things that I've forgotten That I loved about the man But I'll always remember The love in daddy's hands Anyway, uh, we've got a place cleared out in our new house For you and Jane to park the RV And plug in and uh, come see us. I know our neighbors will be excited to have your RV parked in the neighborhood, so I hope you can come up soon. Now, Max and Maddie have something to say to you real quick. Max and Maddie? Hi, 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 Grandpa Grandpa Mike. Mike. We We hope hope we can can see see more now that you're retired. We love you. We love you, Dad. Talk to you soon. Oh. (laughs) I'm not. I'm not blubbery. You know what's that in your eye? Oh, oh, no, oh I was. Uh, that's uh, got a cinder in there. That's or something, coffee. I guess. Yeah, that's coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to wake up. <laughs> We'd like to have a guest sit down what, here. You that, know, uh, got got uh, one of your close friends here. He's been a part of uh, KFDI yeah, for a long old, time. Oh, Mr. Subtle here. You know, I'm, I'm, I walk. In, <laughs> I walk in this morning. You know, you know, just normal morning. I'm thinking. You know, get in here and uh, get this thing done and. And uh, here's old Les Donovan strolling around the halls, you know, at 5 o'clock in the morning. I was saying, what are you doing here? And he says, oh, he said, I just came in to use the restroom. <laughs> Les, it's nice to see you. Well, Mike, it's, uh, it's a great event. It's a little bit sad for us that uh, these guys sit out here and listen to you for all these years and all the, all the good times it brings back and all the many times I've been on the way to the auction about this time of the morning and listen to old Mike mm-hmm. call in and give you a little a little trouble there on the air but uh it's uh it's been great and it's not going to be the same i can tell you that but it uh we wish you the absolute very best uh because you truly deserve it well you're kind to say that of course uh les is one of those people that we owe a lot of thanks to because he's one of those guys that spends money with us Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know lots of money yeah (laughs) well uh, uh, without our sponsors you know we just wouldn't be here well the the reason we keep coming back mike over and over again is because uh you get us the results that we that we pay for and that's uh but it's more than that it's gotten to be uh where we we're sort of like uh, feel like we're almost family that's that's really what it is well you are our part of the family that's right. One of the things we've thought about our advertisers for all these years is, you know, they we have two customers. We have the advertiser and we have the listener. Right. And uh, so it it and, and we get listeners that call in and say, boy, I went out there and bought my car, Donovan's. And they, they did everything you said they'd do. And then some. <laughs> I have people every day. I had people in Topeka when I'm up there during the winter tell me, I heard you on KFDI every morning. I said, well, that's wonderful. I'm not on every morning, but I, it's, it's nice to hear. It. And it goes on and on and on. There's a lot of residual value. You have an awful lot of loyal, uh, dedicated listeners that wouldn't think about listening to any other station or any other any, any other person on the air. They just went, oh, Mike says jump, they jump. It's just <laughs> it's just amazing. Well, he's proven he is the earliest rising car dealer uh-huh. in town. Right. <laughs> now, we got some other special guests here we, oh, yeah? we, we, yeah. want, we want to let you hear from here. Oh, Mike, this is Terry Nickel, Nickel County. Thanks for putting up with me for all these years. Thanks again. Hey, Mike, this is Billy Walker. want to say what a great job that KFDI and all your country music stations have done uh, throughout uh, the world, keeping country music alive. Never thought you'd rise to this occasion. You wasn't much of a singer, but boy, was you a great radio man. <laughs> hey, Mike, this is Fiddle in French of Burke. Hey, man, you didn't ask my permission to go nowhere, <laughs> but I want to thank you for what you've done for country music, what you've done for French of Burke. And let me tell you, pal, don't go too far. Somebody might have to holler, help. Your home reflects who you are, a sense of timeless elegance, sheer sophistication, or maybe a bit of country charm. 
Nothing helps to enhance your style more than lace accents from The Lace Place. The Lace Place has a great collection of lace curtains, panels, valances, swags, mantle scarves, and doilies in a charming array of colors. Plus, The Lace Place can custom make exactly what you're looking for. See The Lace Place today at 13th and Tyler in the Northwest Center. While in Lindsborg, visit their sister store, Lindsborg Lace, or see them online at lindsborglace.com. This is Rob Johnston with Farmers Co-op at Caldwell, Kansas. Oh, Mike, we wish you all the best in your retirement. I just wish you'd stayed on long enough for me to get a good job with KFDI. KFDI Weather Vane. This edition of KFDI's Weather Vane is brought to you by those folks at Southwestern Remodeling in Wichita, Wichita's Remodeling. Folks, we've got another hot, humid one coming up today. 89 degrees for the high temperature today. Plenty of humidity out there. Partly cloudy and windy as well. South winds today, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, Mostly cloudy with a good chance of thunderstorms, low temperature down to around 68. For tomorrow, Saturday to start out the weekend, partly cloudy and hot, the high up to 93 degrees, and a chance of a few more storms on Saturday night. In the KSN KFDI Weather Lab, I'm meteorologist Dave Shaver. It's a lot more than a shelter with four walls and a roof. It's where you raise your family. It's where you entertain guests. It's your home. So when you're ready to remodel, trust the experts at Southwestern Remodeling. They've been building new room additions, garages, kitchens, and baths, as well as sturdy backyard decks since 1970. And right now is the best time to remodel because interest rates are lower than ever before. Call 263-1239 today. Southwestern Remodeling, Wichita's remodeler since 1970. All right, old Mike here in Wichita right now. We've got south winds at 17, 90% humidity, falling barometer, mostly clear, 72 degrees here at the Radio Ranch. In this edition of KFDI's Weather Bay, the service of the folks at Southwestern Remodeling in Wichita, where Wichita goes for remodeling. That's right. That's Art's place. Yeah. And Art was planning on being here, but he's not in town. No, he's in his, his camper. He bought him a camper. Okay. I know he was going to Branson this week. Yeah, I, I wonder if we maybe have uh, kind of feels different sitting on that here. side, on the mic. Well, yeah, it does. Don't, don't look. You don't turn around. Don't you turn around? Oh. You just, you just... I got a couple of friends of yours here. Uh, they want to say uh, hello to you. Howdy, Mike. You hit that ball pretty good. <laughs> you enough, son? I guess you know who these two guys are. Well, don't now you? one of them is. Come on uh, in, guys. One of them is going Craig. to control him uh, Craig is... Get in there and see. He couldn't. I, I bet he didn't guess who it was. No, one of them was Craig. <laughs> We're going to take him in and look at the surprise on his face when they walk through the door. Look at here. (laughs) The guys from Shepler's. That's right. I was just with these people yesterday. Howdy, folks. (laughs) Luke Cohen and John Wilcox. Oh, my, my. (laughs) What are you all doing up so dead gummed early? What do you mean early? What do you mean? We're on our way to the office. (laughs) Are you kidding? I I played golf with Lou yesterday, and I want want the world to know, don't bet with him. He's been (laughs) – you know, he he used this – I can't play. I don't have time to play – stuff for about five years yesterday he was hitting the ball about 300 yards oh he sure was, he was <laughs> carried the team <laughs> nice to see you this is really hey. nice that was my putt that's right yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh. well Shepler's uh, is one of our biggest and bestest advertisers too you know, it's nice to have you well, all here well guys like you taking care of us is, you <laughs> betcha makes it fun <laughs> You know, uh, old Mike, uh, we've got something here that we'd like to give to you and Mike Lynch. Uh, if I know Mike's may or may not be here right now, but we have an award at Shepler's that's called the Old Shep Award. The Old Shep Award. Old Shep Award. And uh, we don't give a lot of these out. I want you to know that. There are only two reasons we give these out. One, uh, to people who are very, very good friends of Shepler's and uh-huh. just do good things for our company. And the other thing is if you save my life. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't get an old Shep Award, <laughs> by golly. And I'd like uh, to award this to you for the many, many years of friendship oh. and service that you and uh, Mike Lynch and KFDI have given to Shepler's. Oh, well, and so please good. accept this oh. from all of the people at Shepler's. <laughs> Oh, right. Well, that is neat. Yeah. It's right. just like that old coot, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it does look just exactly like old Shep. <laughs> it does. I expect to see him here, Bill. <laughs> well, this, this is uh, really Hi, neat. It is. You know, we, we have, we've always thought of Shepherds as, again, part of the family. You know, I mean, it's just it's just us, you know. <laughs> it's the, I mean, we feel like we uh, you, you guys own us, you know what I mean? <laughs> we do. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is kind of, of course, the friendship that we have with all the people at Shepler's, but 
specifically these two yahoos that got up this early to come in. <laughs> Actually, we were on our way to the office. Right. Right. Yeah, that's right. Just stop by like Les Donovan, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know what they told me a while ago? They said, well, now we're afraid with all this free time, he's going to learn how to play golf better. <laughs> I don't uh, think there's any danger there. I don't think you have to worry. <laughs> well, if I hit the ball 300 yards, Mike hits it 500 yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He outdrove me yesterday. <laughs> Every time we hit, you know, I'd hit a really good one. I'd go, huh, huh. <laughs> you know, come back, uh, top that, you know. And he'd get up there and, whoosh, whoosh, you know, fly me by 50 yards, you know, oh, every yeah. time. Really neat. <laughs> Thank you all for, very much. Mike, we, we've got some special songs this morning. You like Marty Robbins, right? Love Marty Robbins. We, yeah. We've got a special Marty Robbins song for you. Hi, old Mike. This is old Jane. Hands that are strong but wrinkled. Doing work that never gets done. I just think this is the last 4 a.m. morning that you have. From now on, I'm going to let you sleep till 7 o'clock. I have your honeydew list ready. I think I can probably keep you busy for at least a year or two just catching up on them. I want to see you be a handy husband. Looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to watching it. Lord, give her my share of heaven. If I've earned any here in this life, cause God, I believe she deserves it. My woman, my woman, my woman. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Well, she does have a list. I'm telling you. <laughs> she said, "Now, when you get retired, you're gonna do this." Now, what what is this you guys brought out here? Now, wait a second. All right. It's just uh, you don't want this on the air. No, no, that one. Oh, we don't want that on the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can make history. But, uh, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, tell you, we, we got some other special guests old here. Dave Johnson, the Gunners, wishing old Mike after 30 years of advertising with you a happy retirement and booking on that on highway of. Marvelous dreams. Wichita, Hutchinson, Salina, and everywhere in between. When you need prompt, free delivery, remember Prompt Lumber in Heston. They have a great selection of fencing and deck building materials, plus they have lots of bird feeders, fountains, and bird baths, too. Right now, Colony Paints are on sale. And if you're going to be doing some roof work soon, be sure to check out Croft's stock of shingles. If you need home improvement advice, it's always on the house at Croft Lumber in Heston. Croft Lumber in Heston. Croft, your one-stop lumber yard. Hey, Mike, this is your good friend, Marty Johnson, and we listen to you all the time over here at KNSS. Hey, seriously, Mike, thanks for making all your roots here in country western music here in Wichita, and hopefully in your retirement now you'll be able to put some roots and some plants down at your house there. And, hey, best of luck from all your friends here at Johnson's Garden Centers. All right, old Mike, let me tell you one thing, buddy. It's been a pleasant association down through the years, and to watch you and what you've done for country music and for country radio throughout the nation has been a, a wonderful thing. Hey, old Mike, it's Charlie Dick in Nashville. I'm talking to some of your cohorts out there, and they tell me you're going to get out of the business. That's probably good for the business, but uh, I know you've been there a long time, and I remember you coming to Nashville and at the country radio seminar and hiring all those Yankees and taking them out there in Kansas trying to make radio people out of them, like Davis and uh, Paul. And, and despite that, you were successful. So I guess I have to say congratulations, and we're happy for you. This is uh, Pat at Bruce Brothers, uh, 13th and Tyler, and South Seneca. Uh, thanks a lot for the years on the radio, Mike. Okay, old Mike. Uh, <laughs> there's stuff on uh, the I'm air. Glad we didn't, I'm glad we didn't play old Shep's uh, <laughs> well, thing you know, on the air. <laughs> yeah. 23 past six, you're listening yeah. to old Mike's final radio broadcast. Uh, and, Mike, we got another special guest right here. You might, uh, sir, you're on the phone. Would you like to identify yourself? I own the mountain. Oh, that's perfect. Does he, does he remember that? I do. That's a song we wrote. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Michael, welcome to the real world, kid. Hey, Burford has already done this. You know, he, pay, he paved the way for this, you know. That's right. I'm listening to you down in San Antonio. On the Internet, right? Yep. 
And I just wanted to uh, be serious just a moment, tell the folks that this is the guy that brought me to Wichita and got me started in the business. Uh-huh. And uh, but. He, he, he told me, uh, you know, you'll never have to sell when you come to KFDI. But um, I had to get out and do a little selling to, to make a paycheck. Yeah. And so I just wanted to thank Mike for uh, being instrumental in, uh, in making my life uh, what it is today. Well, Burford, that is so sentimental. I mean, well, you just choked me up there. I, I mean it. I mean, if it weren't for you, I don't know exactly. Uh, you know, I don't know where I'd be and what I'd be doing. So I just wanted to call and say thanks this morning. Well, you're very nice. And uh, you kissed Joy for me. I understand she's going to have a little surgery here. So tell her hello, will you? And I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing you out there in that. Uh, uh, what what kind of uh, pants is that that Jim Davis always wears that you like? <laughs> the what now? Those uh uh, pants that Jim Davis wears, you know, that uh, one-piece outfit. Oh, the uh, the jumpsuit? The jumpsuit. I ain't wearing a jumpsuit. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the jumpsuit now. I ain't wearing no jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Burp, we want you to listen to this one here. We think you, you, might, remember, you might remember this here. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Wake up with old Mike and the morning show. Country thinking and singing to get you up on the Good morning from Kelly. Good morning, 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 Kelly. When they used to appear with Gene Autry and a bunch of them folks. And the song for you there entitled Pinball Anonymous this Saturday morning. Good morning to you if you just now tuned in. Here on old T-legged, toe-legged, P-legged, bow-legged, curly-headed, p wetter Marks morning show. Plum proud to have you with us, neighbors. You're in KFDI country, KFDI country. Country thinking and singing to get you up the KFDI. Coming up here on the morning show, we got our country star of the day, a fellow by the name of Billy Parker. And now it's time for the KFTI country star of the day. Join us now for this hour's selection from our featured album and star on KFDI's country star of the day. Our country star of the day today is a young fellow by the name of Billy Parker from an album called If I Make It Through the Night. Billy Parker, our country star of the day here on old T-legged, toe-legged, B-legged, bow-legged, curly-headed P. Willard reminds the general store for a Saturday morning. Who is that? It takes a lot of money to hold a little honey like you. <laughs> that guy sure does sound like he's from Texas. Do <laughs> well, well, you remember what year that was? Oh, uh, 64 or 65, you know. You know, there's way back there in the beginning. I know we've got uh, new stars, old stars. As a matter of fact, here's, here's a fellow that wanted to say something to you. Hey, Mike, this is Shane Miner, and uh, I just want to say I look forward to seeing you at the Charlie Daniels Golf Tournament there in Wichita. And we had a great time last year, and and uh, it saddens my heart that you're leaving us because uh, we, we lose good people in country music. And if it wasn't for guys like you, artists like me wouldn't make it ten feet. You know, it's it's we do it with your help and it's all teamwork and you're really going to be missed mike so god bless you and yours and, and i hope just because you're leaving country radio we don't it's not the last we see of you so god bless you mike well thank you shane that's nice he's a yeah he's a, one of the good ones one of the good young ones he is. did burford say a while ago that old mike's made him what he is today <laughs> well, burford, you still there? he's a recluse in san antonio yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking any credit for that. <laughs> Eighty cents third looks out his window, going, "Mine a pretty day." Uh, <laughs> oh, good grief! He's listening right now, laughing. Uh, right probably. Yeah. Well, he says he says you and I sound a whole lot like. So you couldn't hardly tell the difference between us. <laughs> well, that's about right. That's, you know, I was I was feeling. One day, a lady came up to my uh, to me in the supermarket. I went shopping the other day with Jane. First time I've done that, by the way, in years. And I went over there, and this lady walked up, and she says, Mike? And I said, yeah. She says, you're leaving. And I thought, I started to say, well, yes, ma'am, but it'll be all right. And she <laughs> says, you know, I really like that new guy you got there. His <laughs> name is Doug. said, we really like him. <laughs> you know, so. Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> uh, I said, thank you, Miss Collins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He got me with that yesterday, too, and I <laughs> fell for it again. I tell you what, it's uh, coming up here on 630. I think let's check in with Dan Dillon. Dan. This is KFDI, Wichita's immediate source for news.
NATO and Yugoslav generals have started discussing the details of getting Serb troops out of Kosovo. Yugoslavia announced yesterday it will accept NATO conditions for peace. Fire has destroyed the historic Cattlemen's Club Hotel in Moline. A restaurant bar was the only part of the building still doing business. It was closed when the fire broke out early yesterday. Here's a look at KFDI Agri-Service News with Rex Childs. Agricultural exports for fiscal year 1999 are forecast at $49 billion. That's unchanged from the February estimate. Grain export forecasts for fiscal year are increased over February by $600 million to $14.4 billion. Let's call cattle today. Let's call them firm hogs a half higher. This is Rex Childs. Just received word of an injury automobile accident in the 4700 block of East Kellogg. Very soon, emergency equipment will be headed that way, 4700 East Kellogg. The KFDI KSN Weather Lab forecast from meteorologist Mark Bogner. Mostly sunny today, south winds at 15 to 25 with a high of 89. There's a chance of a thunderstorm tonight. Right now, mostly clear, 90% humidity. South winds at 17 and at KFDI, 72 degrees, where you're never more than 12 minutes from a weather update. This is Dan Dillon. Okay, Dan, we're uh, <laughs> we're rolling here. Here's Shane Miner that uh, just uh, said hi to Mike. Hey! <laughs> Without a shot of what makes it right Cause baby, if I miss just one little kiss I'll be jumping till tonight Cause I'm a slave to the habit Slave to the habit Chained to the way you do that thing you do I'm a stone cold at it You know I got to have it I'm a slave to the habit of loving Straight back home Girl, I'm a slave to the habit Slave to the habit Chained to the way you do that thing you do I'm a stone cold at it You know I got some help I'm a slave to the habit of loving you Little time That's Miner here on KFDI FM and AM Stereo. He's coming to town for the Charlie Daniels Golf Classic here in two or three weeks, and uh, that's a song called Slave to the Habit. Well, i got a habit of sleeping at night, and I sleep better now than I've ever slept in my entire life because I sleep on a select comfort mattress. Last night, I, I swear this is true, last night we, we go to bed, lights are out. Jane says, would you... Uh, Make my mattress a little less, my side of the bed a little less uh, hard. She said, I feel like a, 
Uh, it's too hard, you know. So I reached up and grabbed that, that thing without him turning on the light. They, they have this illuminated dial, and you punch up a number. And she was sleeping at 25, if that means anything for those that have a select comfort. Punched it down to uh, 15. You just drop the little, hit that little button there, and, you know, next thing she said, oh, that's better. You know, that's the way it works. That's the way that mattress works. It's, a, it's adjustable. It's an adjustable mattress. He told and, me one time he liked to set that thing so soft that the only thing you could see would be his feet and head sticking that's right. out. Right <laughs> the you just, you know, it is the most comfortable mattress you've ever slept on in your life. And the Select Comfort stores are located in town east across from the old Navy store and in town west out there. Randy is the guy out west and uh, Gary over town east. And if you'll go by right now and take a test rest on the Select Comfort air mattress over there, you get a free pillow. It's a heck of a deal, too, and it's a nice pillow. Just go by and say, okay, old Mike said... Come in here to lay down on one of these things, and you do that, and then they'll give you a free pillow just for taking a test rest. They're so sure that you're going to want one after you lay down on it. Uh, the place is town east, town west, select look, comfort. Looking for a high today of uh, 89, low tonight 68, maybe a chance of a thunderstorm uh, tonight. Mostly clear, 72 at the Radio Ranch. Listen to this, old Mike. Hello, Mike. This is Ken Fierno. I'm going to be taking over as general manager at KFDI when you leave, and Doug Collins is going to take over the morning show. One thing's for sure. Memories pressed between the pages of my mind. You're like Paul Harvey. There'll never be another one like you. Memories sweeten through the ages just like wine. Quiet thoughts come floating down and settle softly to the ground. A lot of people in Wichita, especially at KFDI, are really going to miss you, and you can certainly include me as, as one of those people working for you for the last 20 years. Wish God's blessing to both you and Jane. Wish you the best in the very well-deserved years of your retirement. And don't forget to call me if you can't find somebody to play golf with. Sweet memory. Woo! You guys cut this out now. This is not the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, my. Well, um... You know, since I've lost total control of the show, I, I have what's, no idea what's, what's new. Next. What's, just, what's new? So, have you heard any good jokes lately? <laughs> oh, I haven't, I haven't heard much of anything. I'm just kind of wandering around out here for our listeners' sake. You know, I come in this morning thinking, well, I'll do my regular show in the last 10 minutes mm-hmm. or so. I'll say goodbye because, I, you know, I thought there's a few things I'd like to tell our listeners. Uh, one thing is that if they'll let me, I'm going to keep doing philosophy and foolishness here on the radio. I don't know. Good. We, we want you to do that. Yeah. And uh, and the other thing is I'd like to keep writing our column, you know, for the paper and maybe for the Internet website now that we're high tech. <laughs> 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 but, uh, you know, you don't you don't lose touch with things like this. You, you They get in your blood. And, not, and, and the, as, I've, as we've gotten closer and closer to this date, one of the things I'd be saying, I'd hear myself saying, "Yeah, my last day on the air is going to be such and such a day," and then I get this funny feeling. <laughs> you know, like, did I just say that? <laughs> we've been talking about this for the last four months, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, we've been planning for it and thinking about it, you know. And and uh, I'll have some remarks toward the end of the show about how you feel about that and what you do, you know, when you do it. But uh, it's really neat to see our friends out here, right. and our friends are people like you know our sponsors and our listeners who've been calling and. Uh, visiting and that's that's neat. yeah hey we got uh you know we got another special uh, guest just <laughs> just came in yeah but. this is craig ah craig from out of southwestern remodeling oh, he sit down there craig well. i know you i know you quite yeah. well Mike. yeah he knows us quite well he's been out uh remodeling our house for the last four or five months after the flood yeah he brought the bill yeah <laughs> i did not i did not come with the bill i came to uh wish you all the best we've well. had a wonderful association southwestern remodeling is is delighted to have been associated with you and Mr. Lynch, mm-hmm. and all of the things that you have provided for us. You've given us uh, a wonderful client base. Mm. 
uh, just well, for your association with you. We're and I understand that Lynch and I are two thirds of your national billing. I mean, for the entire. <laughs> we we appreciate that very much. Yes, Art Bright. He says they're leaving. Oh my gosh, there goes the business. <laughs> uh, no, we're. I'm teasing that. We we've considered Southwestern remodeling a part of our family also, and uh, they do know they remodel my house twice. We remodel it one time about uh, eight or nine years ago. Craig was out there doing that, you know, and got it all done, and we just enjoyed the heck out of it. And along came the flood, which I do believe that Craig started. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I think he went over there and dug you a hole. You know, got the, yeah, uh, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I saw him on I TV the other night down with the city commission, and yeah, you know, arguing saying, against yeah, the yeah, flood control. Right? There, ain't no, there ain't nothing wrong with that creek. Leave it alone. <laughs> It's a good creek. It is a good creek. It's a good creek. <laughs> hey, we we got some other special guests that we want to uh, have you here from. Hi, Mike. Here. This is Jim Hatton from Don Don Hatton Hatton Chevrolet. You know, we've been doing business together for over 30-plus years. It's been a lot of fun. Rainmaker sales, remote broadcasts, KFDI trips, barbecues, been through births, weddings, and funerals, and had a good association. You know, then I got to thinking, I figured up we've spent close to a million dollars in advertising on your station, and you've only bought three cars from me. And then in reality, it was Jamie that bought the cars. you got some serious catching up to do. <laughs> Get all the precise German craftsmanship of Pfaff at a special low price right now at A1 Singer Sewing Center. Stop by today and you can save $300 on the Pfaff Jeans and Satin 6122. It's normally $9.99, but right now it's on sale at just $6.99 for a limited time. The Jeans and Satin 6122 has all the features you want, like the exclusive Pfaff Integrated Dual Feed Design for non-slip sewing. Plus, it comes with 15 needle positions for perfectly mitered corners and push-button selection of 30 utility stretch and decorative stitch programs. Quantities of this incredible FOF machine are limited, so check it out today. And as your exclusive FOF brother and horn cabinet dealer, you're always guaranteed the best prices on what you're looking for at A1 Singer Sewing Center. Go see Dan Belt serving Wichita sewing machine needs for over 30 years. 1012 South Oliver in the Park Lane Shopping Center. A1 Singer Sewing. They sell the best and service the rest. This is Orville Mercer, uh, Helen and Dina from Emu Country, USA, and we're sure going to miss you, old Mike. Uh, uh, hate to see you go, but uh, we've listened to you ever since you come up here for the last, what, 34 years or so, and uh, hate to see you go. <laughs> Time to go live to the streets of Wichita, brought to you by whom? <laughs> it's KFDI this one. Oh, well, KFDI is bringing this one. Okay, let's go out to the streets of Wichita. And here's Jared Sorello. Oh, Mike, we've got an accident this morning in the 4700 block of East Kellogg. Watch out for that. In the eastbound lanes, minor injuries being reported. Once again, that's the 4700 block of East Kellogg. Reporting live from Mobile 21, this is Jared Sorello. Jared, thanks for the update. Uh, Craig Hogue is, uh, is visiting here also from Southwestern Remodeling. And uh, uh, where's Art today? Well, Art, our, our, our supervisor, John, John Horton, yeah. is... Uh, Taking a vacation, which is very deserved and, yeah. and scheduled, so right. someone needs to get our fifty-five carpenters out of the shop and on the street. And he'd rather work. do that than come by here. I understand. No, read it. He brought. He sent a he letter. He sent though. a letter. He yeah. says he wish he could be here on your last. Kind of like day. Bill Clinton, you know, he writes letters. <laughs> I'm teasing. He, he says his project uh, supervisor is on vacation, right. therefore he is responsible to get those men out on the jobs and, and helping all of our clients, which yeah. is very important. And uh, he says between you and me, he considers advertising an investment with KFDI rather than an expense. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 24-hour machine that has created a, a large uh, customer base. And uh, he thanks you for all the great times, looks forward to a golf game. Uh, and truly feels as a member of your family as we all do. Well, he is a member of the family, and uh, he will get lots of golf game offers from me. And I will tell you also that, uh, uh, you know, we've I don't know that in the history of the time that we've advertised for Southwestern Remodeling that we've ever had a listener complaint. Maybe Maybe one or two people would call, but then they'd always call back and say, well, you know, we talked to them and they took care of us. You know, so we a, truly try to. We <laughs> that's really a neat do. Deal. And, and Art's very careful about that and always has been. And 
And uh, so he, and, and you know what? Southwestern Remodeling in numerous years, different years, has been our biggest advertiser on the radio station. I mean, he's, that's, that's, we've always remembered that. We consider an investment. Well, we consider it a, we consider it a real nice thing to get to talk about you. So I know he's listening out to the real reason he had here. He's a sentimental old fool and he'd start it's, choked up. He he'd would be up. crying. He'd be he crying. Right he now. really would. Yeah. He, Here's your coffee, Mr. Open, just the way you like it, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Speaking of sentimental guys, we got uh, Daryl. Yeah. Do you want to say something to old Mike? Mike, good luck to you, Mike. But I, I left KFTL since 1964, September. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'd like to try to find your cow again, okay? <laughs> My cow? Yeah. Ferdinand. You're talking about Ferdinand the Bull. <laughs> okay. Good luck, okay? Yeah. Thanks, Fletch. It's, uh, we're coming up on Sports Roundup here in just a moment. It looks like Mabel's been eating pretty well. I'd say. From the back, I barely even recognize.